Hi everyone, I'm Mary Ann from Moonmark. Welcome to the Lunar Race Car Design Challenge. In this video, we'll get into the three major things you'll need to design a vehicle that can race on the moon and win. First things first, your team must design a racer that weighs no more than five kilograms or around 11 pounds, easy enough. We want to leave you with plenty of creative options for the tires, body design, and motor functions. We also want to ensure the major components have been tested by space experts to withstand the extreme temperatures and radiation levels on the moon. The geniuses at Intuitive Machines tell us you are going to need these space-worthy components for your racer. Power source, brain, and communication system. The power source in this case, a battery, will get your vehicle going as fast as possible. This is a race, don't forget. The 8-cell Endurostat battery pack with EPS2 control module is designed to protect against moon dust and brings a radiation shield along, ensuring your design won't fry once it hits the surface. No race on the moon would be complete without a solar panel, and we found just the one. The IU solar panel will keep the battery fully charged before and after the race. That battery power after the race will be needed to transmit video from the vehicle to the lander so everyone on Earth will know who won. As they say in racing, all the power in the world can't win the checkered flag with no brains in the team behind the wheel. For your design brain, Intuitive Machines recommends the Virago VA10820 as the single board computer for the main processor, which delivers command and handling. Very important. Now that you know your design can move and think, you have to be sure that it can communicate with the Nova Sea lander. If your design wins the race on the moon and no one knows, did it really happen? Your team will need these things when it comes to communications. First, an ultra high frequency radio module for data collection. The racers must send health and status data to the lander and the Endurostat UHF Type 2 transceiver is just the ticket. Second, the antenna. Remember the solar panel? This model fits right on top of those panels with four separate deployable antennas. Nice. And third, you'll need a high rate communication, such as Wi-Fi, for getting the recorded video back to the lander and eventually to Earth so that the world can watch as our need for speed unfolds. While no existing space certified Wi-Fi devices were found, the adaptive module option could work. Luckily, for your design purposes, we don't expect the component to weigh more than the radio module. If your team can find a different power source, computing brains, or communications that meet or exceed the space-worthy specifications, go for it. Now it's time for you and your team to kick in the creativity by incorporating a drive mechanism like motors and tires, and the fun part, a lunar racing body that will leave your competitors in the moon dust. All within five kilograms, of course. Be sure to read the Intuitive Machine spec sheet in the description of this video and on the moonmark.space website. And check out our video on how your designs will be judged. 